Looks like Roy Man on table six is folding 80% of three bets. Again, he's a short stacker. Hard to say how I feel about calling preflop because I'm not, you don't have quite the best idea of what his hijack opening range is, and I don't know anything about his c-betting strategy on the flop. Um, if he if he were reluctant to c-bet, then I I would probably even opt to call jack ten suited. You're gonna hit the flop often enough. And if he's not c-betting, you're going to have a lot of opportunities to take the pot from him on the turn if he checks back. Uh, that's basically my thought process. Didn't catch the action on table 4, although looks like our hero checked the turn with a, a weak open-ended straight draw. I think when the flop is checked through, this is a spot where with this hand I'd be betting the turn and, and looking to follow through on a lot of rivers. I think that we can represent a lot of hands and it's unlikely that our opponents have anything. And uh, by the same token, we have 4-3 high and a little bit of equity in the pot. You know, a 7 is obviously going to complete some other straights, but uh, that's only really a minor concern for me. So I'd like to see a turn lead here and then to follow that up with a bet on a lot of river cards. Uh, with 4 high, I might even just say blanket statement, bet all river cards, you know. With 5-8 suited on the button, um, check two three ways. Really, huh, I I'm definitely going to be betting this fl this hand when check two. Um, to protect my equity and for value against some hands like ace high that might call me, I I'm honestly, like, again, I'm assuming that, that ABC rules the 13-11 in the small blind is a short stacker. Really confused by the flat call in my experience. I don't see that too often. Uh, short stacker sliding out of the small blind versus button open. So, I uh, would still be betting here, although I kind of expect him to have pocket pairs a decent amount of the time when he calls here, and obviously the vast majority of them, probably all of them, are going to be beat, be beating uh, a pair of fives. But uh, with this particular hand, I think that just you know betting for value against a big blind and uh, protecting our equity and uh, just taking the pot down now... Uh, all, all of those things just make me kind of want to bet. I also think, yeah, 350 I think is a decent bet size here. It's multi-way, it's a dry board texture. I would just depolarize and bet my whole range here probably. So, uh, yeah, 350 looks good. Uh, and, and in general, you know, when there are short stackers in the pot, I'm going to size down my, my, my flop C bet sizing with my whole range. I, I just want to avoid overcommitting money to the pot. Uh, when the small blind calls, I'm expecting never to have the best hand, basically. Uh, and then we'll we'll cover table number four really quickly here also. Uh, Houdini limps button. Uh, we take the initiative out of the big blind with jack nine offsuit. Again, you know, I, I've, I've hit on the point uh, a, few, a few times now already. Uh, it's just one of these hands where um, at 100 big blinds deep, I think ice swim becomes a uh, pretty, pretty strong play. Uh, although, granted, I don't know too much about our opponent's pull flop strategies. But usually I'd say when a fish limps the button... Uh, attacking those limps uh, with um, a lot of playable hands is a good strategy. Um, but when they're shorter, again, you run out of real estate on those bluffs. Um, flop play looks like our hero checked as a pre-flop raiser. Seems uh, pretty good. Uh, there are definitely some worse hands that can call our bet on this flop, but overall I think they're just sort of pot controlling our hand. Uh, trying to induce a bluff or two from him is good. I'd probably continue to check the king spades turn. I think it's unlikely to hit him too often, but it's just one of those spots again where if we bet... Uh, I don't expect better hands to uh, to fall. I don't expect worse hands to call very often, unless he picked up some sort of a draw. Table two with five eight of spades. Check to us on the three of spades turn. Yeah, I think I agree with the turn check back. It seems like a bit of a strong hand to turn it into a bluff on the turn. That's effectively what we're doing. Uh, you run the risk of getting check shoved on, which would just be uh, would be terrible. I would hate it and. Um, and, and yeah, overall, we got enough equity in the pot, a little bit of showdown value, uh, and some outs to make the best hand, so I like checking back.